Hey everybody, sorry about the little glitch there. I uh, got a brand new computer and installed all my software, but it hadn't been activated yet. And even though um, Expression is now free, the, the service pack, or sorry, the Expression package, which is web design, uh, Expression Encoder, they're all free. I'm using the Expression Encoder screen capture. The free version um, only limits you to 10 minutes. So I had to go activate it real quick. So jumping right back in where we left off or where I was cut off there by Microsoft, uh, <laughs> you can see, like I was saying, the only reason this popped up was because I hadn't refreshed the screen. And if you remember in the last step, we had installed the theme via the WordPress installer. So now I've installed or uploaded by transferring these files, my Enfold child theme. And so all you need in a child theme is these basic files and it'll it'll work. Actually, I think style is the only one you technically need to make a child theme work. But Greasy puts everything needed in here and it's all coded. They just get right to work to jump right into your style sheet and start adding your own um, your own CSS code. So uh, jumping back over here to the website, you see we have the very basic one installed. Um, now we need to go since we've uploaded the child thing. If we jump back into appearance here go to our themes, we'll see here's the one I just uploaded. And remember that screenshot.ping, that's this one here. So I throw my logo in there on the Infold Child. All we're going to do is activate this. And you'll see when we jump into this now, it's exactly the same. There's nothing changed, although the difference is now we can modify the code in these, um, in these files without uh, messing anything up uh, without it being overridden if Creasy updates the theme. So if we jump down here, I'll just show you one that I did. I mean, this goes all the way. Here's a child theme, and then I actually went into the includes, and then I edited this one, and because it's everything's the same structure, WordPress uh, will use my child theme. It'll load it last, and so it uses this one, and I was able to change the code in this actual file. So it goes a little deeper than just doing CSS. So um, anyhow, just wanted to show you that. We're ready literally to uh, jump in and start editing. That's it. You have now installed um, Infold. You've installed the child theme, and you can start building this out, the logo and everything. Um, feel free to jump back into your actual folder where you extracted the files because Creasy does have really nice documentation. If you just open this, um, you'll see. Whoops, we don't want to open it out there. Let's get this to open the index here. Oh, I've got my default set to open uh, HTML files in my expression instead of, let me see if I can change this open with, there we go, Google Chrome. And then you can walk through here and I mean, he's got a very nice setup installation, explains how to do a lot of the work we just went into. Um, that was a real practical and short tutorial on how to install Infold and the basics of what you should do in your WordPress by eliminating plugins and things like that. Um, so now I'm going to jump right into some minimum plugins that I like to use. My favorite ones, um, I highly recommend you use this even if you don't pay for the full version, which I recommend because you get a lot of extra features. But uh, go to your plugins and search for Yoast SEO. Um, I highly recommend you use this. It'll help you develop your site much better for actually showing up. So I'm going to go ahead and just install this. You see how easy it is? Shouldn't take that long, so I'm not going to pause the video. And feel free to just activate it directly from this screen here. Something's going a little slow today. I don't like to do the tracking. Feel free to do it. He's a, a trustworthy author. So um, I also like to install, and I know he's got a contact built into his, but I also like to install the um, contact form 7. It's a little bit more complex. So depending on what you need to do with your forms, um, this is a great one. And then along with that comes a really simple CAPTCHA. That's literally the name of it. It was designed to work with Contact Form 7. So I would install really simple CAPTCHA if I was you. You can see by my auto fill, fill that it automatically, that I've done this a time or two. Although I did a search in the wrong spot. Something's running in the background, slowing my computer down. So really simple CAPTCHA. Let's go ahead and install that. 
and then the other thing I highly recommend if you're going to be doing any blogging in this case this person will not be but uh, there is one called a next scripts auto poster you'll find the link in um, you'll find a link in oh I keep searching in the wrong one I keep forgetting to type click new sorry about that in my um, in the blog post for this video you'll find a link so Oh, there it is, Network Social Auto Poster. So I'm not going to install that one right now, but that's definitely a good one. So, um, And then you'll find in the next video, I'm going to show you some Raven tools, um, how to set that up, things like that. It, this is just tracking. It consolidates a lot of the tools out there. So um, actually, that'll probably just be in the blog post. I'll probably do another tutorial later on. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you get in fold set up properly with a child theme and have fun coding. Talk to you later. Bye.